Check gang south in this motherfucker. Y'all ready for this shit? Let's go!
really ended in an awkward way, and I'm not gonna talk about fighting a person when I can literally preach or curl his entire fucking body. Wait, let's go. Woo! I think you actually liked it. <laughs> but on another note, I hope you wrote for me. No freestyles, cause if your shit ain't fire, then you cannot smoke with me. So this'll be smooth sailing as they ride my wave. Cause you'll have no chance to open, see? See, I'm everything you hope to be. I'm skinny, I get to pussy, not to mention I rap well. Cause a horse, this horse is all about a bitch. I'm gonna start calling you Maxwell. This man probably, I said this man probably paying for butt. Oh, that's what you meant by crack sales. <laughs> hey, he get mad when they call him a racist, but face it, you do get very aggressive around black hairs. I paint the picture perfect like Kodak. I'm doper than heroin, blow smack. You got the OD fucking with me, boy, the flow. Better chill like some Prozac or I'll turn you to a throwback. Nasty cracker. Might whip out my dick and tell Johnny Boss to blow that. Yeah. <laughs> now Split, he pulled some whack shit. But you, you're gonna pay for what he did. When White's rapping, it's nothing like Mike Jackson. Cause I ain't come to play with the kid. You see this round? About a pound. That means I can send some strays where you live. That toy let it dump in broad daylight. In other words, I stay with this shit. Uh, you are as fake as it gets. I better not hear one bar about how you aim and peel have been trained to kill. What you playing for real? We all know forks and knives the only time you grip the stain and steel. <laughs> Johnny Boss running these streets. That fuck you couldn't run in place. Heavy in the game. <laughs> hey, keep going. Let's go, keep Run going. these streets, you couldn't run in place. Heavy in the game? Bitch, you only heavy in the waist. Looking like mad ills in the neck and like you've been hit with a Chevy in the face. <laughs> and all that hair only for the groove that you weren't ready for this race. But we just warming up. Hey. Uh, Time. someone you shouldn't mess with. Uh -huh. You came in this battle and something that I honestly don't get, bitch, is you knew you'd be in my face, you didn't brush your teeth or at least eat a fucking breath mint. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like my first round? Yeah. Stone Cold Stunner Bars ain't the only angles I come with. <laughs> but if you thought the first round was fire, now it's time for the bars. You definitely gonna love this. He probably thought he was free from bars. Like, really, you dumb bitch? Like, Three from bars. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? Fucking El Chapo or some shit? Yo, when I write bars, I spit the right bars. You spit all right bars. Like, I don't know what to say about Johnny, I guess all right bars. But that shit that you write, dog, it sounds like you don't even try hard. So in this round, these shots, for you, they on special half off, homie. That's a nice bar. Uh -huh. Like, that like, would be a nice, you know what I'm saying? Call me Hallmark, bitch, because I'm a reason that this shit is a nice card. And if we were to ever get into a fight, dog, your neck is what I put my knee on. That's a light bar. There's a reason it's light. There's a reason it's light, bro. You are skinny. So that's exactly what I tried to do. I mean, think about it. Why would I set the bar with the same weight and size that I would use, considering it would crush your chest? You couldn't work out what I bet. That's why I kept these bars light for you. Fuck this battle, I'm already thinking about who's next. You ain't gonna make it to the next level no matter what you decided to do, Plex. Yo. Oh, wow. Yo, bro. He ain't no champion, but for a few bucks, a two-piece package him up and come for his crew next. Cause all that prep work you put in ain't helping you cook nothing, motherfucker. You're only a sous chef. Fuck respect. I don't give a shit how you feel, bro. You're more like Fear the Walking Dead. 
just a spin-off while everyone's waiting to see the real show. And these bars, and these bars like zombies, because when you least expect you might get your neck and potentially end your career though. And if you think they won't, well after enough of them, they gon' catch up to them. And then you get eight while they're killing them real slow. Let's go! I should have came to this bitch with a spear, bro, and a mask, because I'm savage as fuck. You get smoked in this round, and that's just because I had to be blunt. If you don't understand the whole game, pretty soon you get the whole L once I get done wrapping him up. Because if he run his mouth, I split his shit, and he ain't saying nothing now because he don't have any guts. Go ahead and bitch spit those bars. But if I even hear you fucking again mention a gun, a Glock, or a pistol, I'm gonna make you actually fucking wish you really brought one here with you. And if you talk more about how you got a rocket, a bomb, or a missile, then you're so dumb that I don't even gotta diss you, cause seeing complex with an actual magazine would never be no real issue. Johnny Knoxville. Johnny, I'm coming at your seed and trust like Johnny Depp, they saying I'm hot still. Now Johnny ain't scared nobody since the 80s. So Johnny, watch what you starting over. Send a couple killers to creep up on you late night like Johnny Cost. You got body by a Christian, Johnny. I guess that makes you the sacrifice. How you gonna lose to someone who literally holds back? Cause they're worried how it may affect them in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, now you have to understand, I'm a God-fearing man, but I won't be half as nice. Said, I'm going to kill you because it's what I believe in. I said, I spit with the passion of Christ. Now, they've been mistaking me for Johnny Storm all night. Because I'm about to get your body on my hands. Let off five rounds. That's murder with the iron soon as I saw him, man. I got how those clips couldn't even handle but I hope you got a plot of plan, cause even if that shit jam, I just stab you in the back like Pat did the holler hand. It's whatever it takes to make you stop breathing. And I ain't even got reason since my right hand to maintenance, man, cause it's known for clock cleaning. But my homies will stand by me. That means we all searching for a body. If my man catch this boy in the hood, he'll have me conversing with the shot. If it's if he's searching for the juice, it's no cues, just introduce him to steal. I don't mean to get too old school with the movies, but I'm just keeping it real. Cause I ain't came to play around, okay. Pee Wee. If he dies, I'm on my dog plundering. Shit ain't sweet in the belly of the beast. They should have never let me answer the dungeon. Mm, yeah. Head knock, yeah. we in here. There we go. Let's go, give it up, give it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo! We better look at that tonight. Now in the first round, I took the Stone Cold Stunner direction. The second round was strictly bars to satisfy the crowd's weird obsession. <laughs> Since this shit's the third round for me and it's longer than 90 seconds, well, I think it's about time I got down to the roasting session. Yeah. 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 Bitch, you look like you'd be on the A&E season finale of your intervention. Yeah. <laughs> well, you look like you're sharing a cup with your bitch ass who give me some type of staph infection. Yeah. Facebook just fucking message after message after message. And then, get, and then when they get mad that he blows them up every day, he replies back like, fuck you, bitch, you're ugly anyways. Cause he can't. Yeah. Yeah. The way I make these minutes feel like hours, you even thought this shit was inception. My bars on 4G LTE, the way they come with the best connection. You could be chilling with Michael Jordan, fucking that guy right there, and fucking. Mega six, and you still wouldn't shoot shit in my direction. Cause I'm in my own class when it comes to this bitch. Now that's after school detention. <laughs> bitch, you look like you've been smoking cigarettes since the first grade. <laughs> Shouldn't even 
know why you started doing them in the first place. <laughs> you look like you're such a deadbeat that your work week don't even start till like Thursday and every weekend it's time to turn up somewhere, somehow, someway for somebody's birthday. <laughs> Slim Jesus or Black Lives Matter. Bitch, bitch, hey yo, what you know about driving 80 miles an hour? while you get your dick sucked on the highway. You gotta cut it down to 65 cause the bitch doing such a good job you kinda steering a little sideways. <laughs> Freshly turned 21 year old bitch on a Molly binge dancing with her single slutty friends up at Plaza Street on a Friday. Let's go. For real though? Fuck this dude. For real. No, I mean, ladies, is desperate. Which one of you girls will fuck this dude? None of you, I didn't think so too. Guess it sucks to be you. But look, that's just check. He is seriously the lowest type of guy. He brags about taking care of his own family. Like, ooh, what a fucking surprise. A guy who wants props for some shit you're automatically supposed to do in your life, bitch. No one's impressed. You can take care of your own kid and the fucking girl that you like. If you love her so bad, why don't you actually be a man, do something about it, fucking make her your wife? I mean, right? Right? But check it. If he somehow happens to get engaged before the battle comes out from this night, well, then I at least get a, better get an invitation or a gift basket with a note card of him thanking me for taking my advice. Like, for real. No. But that ain't gonna happen. That's something I honestly doubt. Complex too controlling. He never even let his girl out the house. If she say anything to him at all, it's boom, bop, she get knocked the fuck out. The next day, his daughter gonna be like, Daddy, Daddy, what's that mark on mommy's mouth? And he got lied to her like, uh, I don't know, sweetie. She must have slipped and bumped in her face on the couch. <laughs> so, yeah, bitch, don't act like that shit isn't a fact now. Don't act, don't act like you don't catch your girl with the backhand whenever she act out. You yell at her, tell her she's crazy, and then when she asks how, you don't even have an answer. You just flip shit, yell and get mad loud, and choke her up against the wall till she pass out. Yeah. yeah. Messy violence is not funny, guys. It's not. It's real shit. But don't act like because these cameras on, all of a sudden you're a good father when you rap now. You're so not in the picture with your own daughter, bitch. We can't even see you in the background. Don't act in front of these people like that shit is not a big lie, bitch. Why? In the last month, you've seen your daughter at most maybe like six times. No, and I know you guys are like, God damn, that's sad. I mean, it's breaking his daughter's heart. It's making his kid cry. But to be honest, she's not really that upset. She's not really even old enough to talk yet. So whenever Complex is really wanting to stop by, he's seen his ex house and you know that he got time. He open up the door to see his daughter to say hi. She just look at her mom like, well, who the fuck is this guy? Don't act like that shit isn't a fact now. Your daughter is automatically at a disadvantage in life because all right, don't act like that shit isn't a fact, dude. Your daughter is your daughter is automatically at a disadvantage in life because for a father she has you. And I know a lot of people are like, God damn, dude, why would you say that, Johnny? Because that's rude. Well, to be honest, I'm just pissed because I think the shit is just past due because it's guys like this that got single moms on Father's Day thinking they get to be dads too. <laughs> Wow.
line that you spit and that bitch is a quote. But to be honest, I don't fucking blame him at all because I, I kind of blame the audience a bit for reacting and giving him hope because now we acting like he the one between us both that's living the most. I mean, when it comes to battling, bitch, you need to take a different approach. When it, Think about your life. Honestly, I think the shit is a joke because you want to talk about doing right by your family, but you also talk about shooting guns and slinging at dope. So, like, which one is it, you immature bitch? You get picks, you'll fucking get the new ball. Just because I'm spitting these jokes, don't mean I'm someone to joke with. You need to stop acting like you know shit. Homie, I'm on my own shit. That Orlando ain't my home, but I'm already known shit. I got that handle on the game to drive him insane and make him say, oh shit, you just looking up my old shit. Digging up dirt, you must be on that whole shit. So listen, bro. I know the fucking time is probably getting close. Two last things I want to tell him. In case, before I leave, in case he didn't know, that just because you're a drug addict, it doesn't mean bars are over everything and everything you spit is dope. <laughs> and you look like a fucking mix between Slim Jesus and that kid that was drunk at that time. <laughs> So you can start calling me Slim God. Now, Johnny Force looks like a child molester, which is ironic because as a child he was molested. His uncle would rub Vicks on his chest and he wasn't even congested. <laughs> Jared suggested, Rage and Aggie, he suppressed it till he found battle rap as his means to express it. Wait, were you able to connect it? For me, it didn't take too long. I said, your style reminds me of you as a child. Completely fucking wrong. You don't put in the time, yeah, yeah. You don't put in the time or effort. Your performance screams lack of preparation, which is a spit in the face to those who perfect the craft through hard work and dedication. It's like when the freestyle ever died, I wish you would have died with it. I wish you would worry as much about your bars as you do buttermilk biscuits. <laughs> you ain't built for battle, Johnny, or really any strenuous activity. Your mixtape has more 16s bit than what Sega Genesis has visually. You're a fool. Shit. Okay. Even the way you flip your hair proves that 
party, you bitch. But you remind me of I said, but you remind me of Pat from SNL. Cause we're not sure which party you which. I, I said, you look like a fat lesbian. That's a Roseanne bar, a big Rose. Uh -huh. So if it's beef, in the end you can't stomach this. That's Ramadan. I'll stab you and give that shit a twist. A bed night Shyamalan. A basket case. A basket case. Put a bag over your face and ask you how the plastic tastes. Then get mad. Hold on. Hold on. Taste. They get mad and kill you cause I couldn't understand what you said through the masking tape. They get menage, your ass is fake. Hey. Probably why you getting fucked at a rabbit's pace. You see he entered the dungeon mean monkey, but he leaving with that closed casket face. And again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out this evening. <laughs>